I tend to have a, uh, I guess, maybe it's a habit. We'll just call it a habit. Okay, a habit. To go on Amazon and purchase things that are necessary. <laughs> I do that, too. Why? Well, yeah. Maybe I'm under the influence of pod and or alcohol. <laughs> Stuff shows up, and I go, I don't remember ordering One that. One shopping found, is the best adventure ever. I found was called a gold-plated thumb-assisted utility knife. But it's Ooh. good. But it's good for eating caviar. It's <laughs> good for eating caviar. All right. You know, you gotta. Just... You eat so much caviar that you have to. Have... You tell me where to go, baby. Let's talk about Suns because that's <laughs> over now, and then we'll look ahead to our 2015 in the new record. Okay. How did that? I know you've done a lot of acting on and off over the years, but how did it happen that you had such a major role on the season, the series finale, the whole last season of Sons of Anarchy? Well, it started with uh, my father being a huge fan of the show, and of course, I was a huge fan of the show, and somehow. Kurt Sutter came over with his his kids and their friends to my house and listened to the new album. Did and you have an inflatable pool or something? Why were they coming over? To listen to because the new album? Because of pageantry. Okay. All right. The Pale Emperor. All you right. Know. Okay. No, he just, he didn't want to, I don't know, remember, uh, I'm not really clear on how. I think it was actually through Shooter Jennings. Great. Who's a friend of mine. So Kurt Sutter ended up at my house and I was telling him how my father my mom died on Mother's Day. Thank you, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, too. But so I thought the, sh the show is so much about that father-son relationship. And I just wanted to do something to make my dad happy. And I just thought I was going to get a song on the show. Oh, really? And I ended up having uh, dinner with Katie and Kurt. And ironically, my father... So if he's listening, ha ha, dad. Uh, <laughs> my first article as a, well, my first real cover story when I was 19 in Florida, I did an interview with Katie Seagal. Oh, really? And you I interviewed gave, her? Yeah, and I gave it to her as a gift. And she said, oh, do you want to act? And I said, yeah, that would be amazing. And uh, then I went to, that was, that was earlier in uh, the meeting with them. Um, and that's when I was sort of worried about my father because he was also ill. And I was trying to cheer up my dad. This would be before my mother had died. So I went to Ohio and uh, because my mother had died. And I got the phone call uh, that I was going to be on the show. I said, Dad, guess what? I'm going to be on the show. Guess what? I'm going to play the head of the Aaron brother. Guess what? I get paid for it. Guess what? <laughs> I'm in every seat, sh every episode yeah. that I know of. I'm with, uh, you know, Charlie Hunnam. And so it, it made my dad happy because I have a strange picture of my father riding a Honda with me on the back riding bitch. As, as, <laughs> as, 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 as. <laughs> How much did you enjoy as a fan of the show actually getting into being a part of that world? And I loved it and things. I hated it. What do you mean? Well, spoiler alerts. I knew oh. what was going to happen. Yeah. 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 So I would only try to read my part. But it was, I walked in and Paris Barclay, I Direct. said, do I need to, do I need to change my look or anything? And I said, no, you're good. And I said, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> you're, and, you're the perfect white supremacist already, man. <laughs> <laughs> the Supremes were not. White. They were a black singing group. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, they added a few tattoos. Yeah. They put you in the pre prison jumpsuit. They actually put a bunch of tattoos on me, and then I buttoned up my shirt, and you couldn't see it. Up <laughs> Method, right? I was no. I was really sad because the day that I had to do that juice scene, yeah, which I said they should have done a, a marketing tie-in with Capri Suns of Anarchy. Because I was stabbing the juice box. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not positive that that would have gone. No, I would not have gone, okay. but I just thought it was a great idea. You have all the best ideas. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, I mean, that, I, I, I guess can't we're believe trying... it happened on TV. Yeah. I'm watching yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I know. I'm watching it. It's real. And they made me do it 20 times, and I don't, I, not because I got it wrong, just, I think it was, they just They just enjoyed me. watching that happen to juice? Maybe. I don't know. That's cool. Now, does but that, we hugged afterwards. That was the most awkward moment. Does that whet your appetite for more serious acting because you, that was a, a real long-term character? Yes. Okay. I, I enjoyed it. And it added more to the way that you know, this was happening while I was making the album. And it just added to my whole schedule. First of all, being awake during the day, like mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Which is just awkward. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
working. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, uh, well, you were I can adapt to any situation. <laughs> you were great on the show, and Mr. Ann at the afterward here will yeah, agree with me. I mean, we, yeah, you know, we were intrigued by the casting, and then when we saw you, we thought, that's such a great role, because it's so it's such a quiet role, but the guy is so powerful, and he's pulling strings, and he's just making things happen. He's just got extreme confidence. Almost that's didn't be fun to play. even say anything. Almost. That's what, thank you. Um, that's why I kept this for you. This, the, yeah, the scruff. look. Yeah, scruff. scruff. It's a good look. Well, it was, uh, it was good times. Marilyn Manson is here. It's been a while since we've mm. seen him. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll talk all about the Pale Emperor. What's that all about? We heard a little bit uh, some time back on Third Day of a Seven Day Binge, but we have some new music to play some of for you also. The new Manson's Inc., which I think is awesome, by the way, and you won't want to miss it, and Thanks. it's next right after this on K-Rock. <laughs> 